What's up, guys? It's KB. Make sure you subscribe to the Underground Sports Philadelphia YouTube channel. Click the bell icon down below so you don't miss a single video from us. And thanks for tuning in to another video from Underground Sports Philadelphia. Now let's get into it. Philadelphia, baby. You're going to love it. Best sports fans in the world. Actually the worst, but that's what makes them the best. What is going on, everybody? Welcome in to episode 663 of Underground Sports Philadelphia, presented by the City of Vineland. It's KB coming at you solo dolo, because in this era of Underground Sports Philadelphia, that's effectively what this show is. It's me talking Philly sports, whatever comes to mind uh, in the Philly fandom space. Uh, and I do want to apologize. I know the episodes haven't been rolling out on a consistent schedule Life has happened uh, over the past three weeks or so um, and has thrown me way off kilter. Um, and when you're the only one doing it, sometimes, unfortunately, you got to throw things together. And that's where we're at right now. But the show should be getting back on schedule. I'm working on getting like two episodes out per day for the next couple days. Hopefully, that is the hope. Um, and then we'll be back regularly scheduled programming uh, ASAP. So... Appreciate everyone's patience uh, and everyone who supports and listens and subscribes. You guys are the best. Um, but this episode is going to be uh, a little more off kilter, not really up to date with headlines and going through the whole thing. I, I've just been sitting back and thinking about how cool it is that Philadelphia and Philly fandom has some of the most talented people in the industry across the board. It is insane how talented Philly sports fans are. And I just want to highlight a bunch of people because they deserve it. And I feel like they don't get really enough credit for being as talented as they are. So that's what this episode is going to be. It's going to be uh, me waxing poetic about a lot of my friends, a lot of my colleagues, and a lot of people who I just find really fucking talented in the industry. Um, so sit back, relax, let's go on this ride here. It is episode 663 of Underground Sports Philadelphia, presented by the city of Vineland. Make sure you guys are following us on the socials at Underground PHI. Follow me at KBIZZL311 on the tweet machine. Subscribe to the pod. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Leave a five-star rating and review. Goes a long way for helping the show continue to grow. Helps more people find Underground Sports Philadelphia and allows us to keep on chugging along and making this the best damn place to work and making this our full-time jobs. Uh, so keep on subscribing, leave a five-star review, subscribe to the Underground Sports Philadelphia YouTube channel as well. We are inching ever so close to 900 subscribers and 1,000 subscribers, so let's keep that train rolling. YouTube.com slash at Underground Sports Philadelphia. Hit the like button, ring the bell icon, leave a comment down below, and like I said, hit that subscribe button like you know how to do. And this show is presented by the City of Vineland and the City of Vineland Municipal Calendar. Features city organized, city sponsored, and city affiliated events that are of public interest. The calendar, which is accessible at vinelandcity.org, is a good way for residents and visitors to build awareness, remain engaged with city government, and participate in local events. You can also follow the city of Vineland on social media via their Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube pages. And through these tools, you can stay connected to the community and get important announcements about programs and services offered by the city. Finally, New Jersey, where it's always growing season. And big thank you to Security 21 Security Systems and Paul J. Gillespie Incorporated for their continued support of this podcast. We might just do this as a mini series the next couple episodes because there are so many people that I do want to just like give my flowers to and, and show support towards. This episode in particular is going to be about the unbelievable and just magnificent, spectacular, and talented Philadelphia sports artists. There are so many talented artists in this fandom that it is absolutely insane. Uh, and I have four in particular that I, I really want to um, highlight and, and discuss because I either have become friends with them, know them very well, and we are like thick as thieves and we're in the trenches together in this Philly sports fandom thing, or I have been able to respect them from afar and would love to connect with them more. Um, but I will start off with the Queen of Philadelphia herself, and that is the GOAT, one of my nearest, dearest friends, and that is Dewani. 
she is a legend. And I know you're probably sitting here like KB, like Dewani has so much love on social and gets so much love with her art and is all over. But you have to start somewhere. And Dewani didn't start with, you know, Victus Sports hanging up the Bryson Stott sketch up in their office. It didn't start with Topper having one of her sketches up in his office. It didn't start with the Phillies commissioning her to do a City Connect mural that is going to live in Citizens Bank Park forever. It started with her drawing the Philadelphia 76ers and seeing her art style evolve and the way that she has been able to capture the love of Philadelphia sports through art is one of the coolest things that I feel fortunate enough as one of Dewani's friends to witness. I I can never go a trip to Citizens Bank Park without going and looking at that mural that she painted. I always brag that that's my friend that did that. I know who did that. She's wildly talented, deserves to, you know, have this up here. Um, and just like the way that her art style captures moments in Philadelphia sports, like there, there's rarely a time that I miss out on copying a piece of Dewani's art. Her artwork is second to none. It is some of my favorite style of art. Like, it's it's truly amazing the way that she is able to capture um like moments in time that take you to places in Philly sports history really and the way that she captures them in such a just amazing amazing style um, I want to pull up what's on her storefront now. And all of the artists I talk about, I will be linking their um, storefronts and, and their websites in the description so you can check them out because they deserve to have their artwork on display everywhere. Um, yeah, so Dewani, like the moments in time that she's been able to capture and seeing athletes and athletes' families purchasing like numbers of pieces of art for her is just amazing. Like she's got the Joel Embiid Olympics artwork, the crossing the pond from the Olympics is amazing. The GTA Philly sports cover the, the drip bears, uh, the Garrett Stubbs. And if you don't get it, get, then get the fuck out of Philly. Um, the Tyrese Maxey franchise art, uh, just so much. And like to branch out into like bookmarks and the stay loose and sexy, the water boys, like, it is truly impeccable the amount of just the the moments in time that her artwork captures and it, it brings you to places where like you go and remember like those moments you go and remember what was going on when that artwork was created and the two wolves print with Scooby-Doo is one of my favorite pieces of art that I own. I just, I truly love her come up story and for her to be working with me, with professional sports teams from the Phillies, the union, uh, she's done stuff with the Sixers. I'm pretty sure, um, you know, she deserves so much credit for this isn't even her full-time job. She's doing this on the side and it's, it's creating magical moments in time that people will hang on their walls. We are working on getting an entire art museum wall set up in the studio here to display every piece of artwork that I've purchased from Dewani over the years. And to just like pick her brain and, and how the creative process is for her and, and just capturing those moments. And in a lot of times, like I know there's times where art takes a while. And, and that's no joke. But there's moments where, like, she's pumping out art almost immediately. And it's up on her storefront the next day. And it's crazy to think about. Um, just the attention to detail that she has. The, the care and the fandom that is put into each piece of art she creates is second to none. And I genuinely, like, 
am so thankful that like our worlds have collided and like we've been able to do giveaways alongside Dewani for this podcast. It's been a while since we've done one, so maybe we do one soon. Uh, get the fills back on track with the Dewani giveaway. Let me know in the YouTube comment section. But like, it's awesome too because like Dewani is in Giants and Yankees country. She lives in North Jersey. She went to, I, I believe, went to Rutgers. Um, and is, you know, in this era where Philly sports is having so much success and being able to brag through art, I think is one of the coolest, like, ways that you can, like, showcase your fandom and the way that she captures moments. Like, we have the Joel Embiid card is up on the shelf back here. There's so much different artwork that, you know, we have to hang in the studio still and it's like it's going to cover an entire wall and it's going to be so sick Dewani is and and it's always awesome too when somebody is so wildly talented and is you know thriving and succeeding in something that they love and they are also just a genuine human being Dewani is that she is one of the most humble kind uh, like genuine and and just friendly people you will ever meet and the way that she is able to bring people together through sports through art and through fandom is second to none and if you're not following Duani on social you're missing out on a whole lot her twitter handle is at d-h-w-a-n-i-s-a-r-a-i-y-a underscore Duani Saria um Please check out her Etsy storefront. Check out all of her artwork. I know there's 15,000 plus people that follow her already on the socials. There's, she needs to have all of them. She needs to have every single uh, follower possible on the internet because her artwork is unbelievable. If you're a professional sports team, you should be working with her because she is genuinely uh, a, a Philadelphia Picasso. She is the best and I genuinely am so thankful for her friendship her support of what we do here and is it's just awesome watching the way that she is able to bring moments in Philly sports to life and her art style is some of my favorite it's very comic booky um Marvel needs to hire her (laughs) someone needs to hire her to be doing art full-time because she is that talented and I am very very fortunate to know her and to appreciate her art is an understatement um and I mean just her come up like I said like she went from doodling the Sixers as she put it to she now has a mural in Citizens Bank Park in a major four sport in Philadelphia's stadium lives her art forever that's crazy like I wouldn't even know what to do with myself if I was Dewani um she is the best. I can't thank her enough for all of her support. And, um, you know, up to something season that we announced last year around this time got kind of put on hold a little bit. But when it, the time comes, Dewani's going to be part of up to something season. And that's very, very fun to get excited about. Um, so if you're not following the goat, if you're not purchasing art from the goat, all of her links are in the description, check them out because she is genuinely the best of the best. Um, my next artist that I want to showcase for everybody is from the Diwani social media following tree. And this person deserves way more love and way more attention for, how incredible her artwork is and that is the ever so talented olivia smith you want to talk about unique standout artwork in a different sense than Dewani's? it's olivia smith she is fucking awesome the first time i think i i checked out olivia's art it popped up on my timeline she was designing a label for uh like an ipa or something like that And I was like, I love your art style. Would love to like work with you for something we're working on. Olivia is going to be part of that. 
aforementioned up to something season when it rolls around as well because I am just a huge fan of her. Her art style is very simple, but also very detailed all at the same time. Um, the way that the the lines and the it's it's very like almost American traditional in a tattoo sense, but it's her own spin on it, and I just love the way that like she captures the details of so many different things and uses uh things as influence to create and she's got this fanatic hit and dinger shirt and artwork on her her etsy store that is just so perfect and it's it's like it reminds me of the this is fine dog with an american tattoo traditional sense but even when it is so simple it has so much life to it and so much vibrance and detail and like the fanatic looks like he is like bursting out of the shirt at you uh she has a trey turner shirt that it looks like trey is like coming to life and and it's just so awesome like dewani and olivia are in similar categories in terms of like the art and love that they put into their artwork but also in such different categories in a really cool way and Olivia's almost reminds me of like newspaper comics and and like that American traditional tattoo uh you know sense uh, of art and just the way that she's able to simplistically bring details to life in her artwork is so so cool and I just appreciate it so much and like it doesn't have to necessarily look exactly like who she is drawing but you get the idea and that's what catches your eye at first is you get the idea that this is who the the pen and pencil and and digital art are are capturing and it is it is just so so awesome and like her style just radiates off of whatever medium she is drawing on and I want to pull up her Instagram too because she has some different things on there as opposed to her Etsy and like the beer cans that she has been able to design the just different amazing pieces of art that have such different um tone to them as well like she has her unique art style that you can tell it's Olivia Smith but then it's also like, wow, like the range that you have is unbelievable. And Olivia is amazing. Like her support is second to none as well. And like she genuinely like showcases her fandom, showcases her love for Philadelphia and the success of Philadelphia in her art. And like she's got like 1500 followers on Twitter. Guys, if you're not following Olivia, do yourself a favor and follow Olivia because she is truly like an incredible person, an incredible artist. And like the way that she is capturing art is just super cool. And is like, at first, like the skull stuff caught me and I was like, Holy shit, this is really awesome. Um, and then you see her getting into drawing Philadelphia sports and, and things surrounding Philly and still sticking true to her roots as well with the like American traditional. I know I keep saying that, but like that's kind of what it is. And it is so, so sick seeing her success and the way that she goes about showcasing her art. She does different styles as well. And, and she deserves so much love and so much support. Um, so all of her links will also be in the description. Shout out to Olivia. She is genuinely uh, one of the most talented people I know. And I, I genuinely am like so thankful that like I get to call her a friend. And this is why you meet your internet friends. Olivia and I have never met in person yet. That will eventually happen. We've been in the same building a bunch of times, just never met. But like when you meet people like this, it genuinely enhances just your quality of life and it enhances just like your Rolodex of meeting genuinely good people. And that's what Olivia Smith is. That's what Dewani is. They are both just genuinely wholehearted, 
great people. And I think that's what the cool thing about the art community in Philadelphia is, is no matter who it is, you see different branches of the art community just lifting each other up. And I think that's a lot of what uh, podcasting is, at least from my experience. And being able to lift one another up is what makes the entire platform, the entire product successful, is when we all, you know, get at this together and build together. Um, and I genuinely am, am lucky to know those two individuals, Tawani and Olivia. They are amazing. Got two others that I want to showcase for you guys as well. Um, but like I said, both of their links down in the description, click those things, order things from them. This is not advertisement from them on this show or at whatever it may be. This is just genuinely wholehearted. Want to support my friends. Um, so click those links Get the art from them. They are awesome people that deserve so much love. Um, before I do keep it pushing, I want to talk to you guys about our friends over at FOCO. They are the leaders in the forever collectible industry uh, from the ever iconic Phillies overalls that I was wearing last postseason. I will be ordering short hauls very soon, even though shorts weather almost on its way out. But hey, I still want those bad boys. Um the apparel, the bobbleheads, obviously, are the iconic fixture of FOCO. Um, I just got an email recently that our Jason Kelsey bobblehead is delayed, so hopefully we'll be getting that soon. Um, but FOCO, they are the leaders in forever collectibles that are all officially licensed from the NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, WWE, college basketball, college football, you name it. FOCO's got it. It's always awesome, too, when I'm walking around Citizens Bank Park and I see officially licensed FOCO items being sold in the Phillies team stores. Um, I was just at another you know, distributor uh, place of business that had FOCO items in a brick-and-mortar store, which was really cool. Um, so shout-out to FOCO. They are truly some of the best uh, humans as well in the industry. Click the link in the description. Get all your forever collectibles today. Uh, when you use that link, it helps support us. FOCO knows you're supporting us. Um, so please, 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 as Sabrina Carpenter once said, uh, click the link in the description. Get some stuff from FOCO. Upgrade your man cave, your she shed, whatever it may be. Uh, and big thank you to FOCO for being big time supporters of the podcast. The next artist I want to showcase is somebody I've never met personally, but they are all over the place. We have seen them in pop culture. Um, they are also love their art style. Um, I want to pull up their website here. Their art style is amazing. Um, like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really fucking cool, is how I would describe it. Uh, and that is the ever so awesome humans, the homie, Heavy Slime. Heavy Slime is just genuinely so, so, so awesome. Um, I'm a huge fan of, like, skeletons and, and, like, that type of stuff. I was born two days before Halloween, so it makes sense. He's got the skeleton, the Grim Reaper type vibe, um, and it always like stood out to me every time I saw Heavy Slime shirt because the artwork is like second to none, um, and I'm always jealous of my brother-in-law. He's got a Heavy Slime shirt that's uh, aliens over top of Citizens Bank Park, and it's philadelphia hits him out of the park um heavy slime the the artwork is just impeccable um they they just know how to how to do it if you will and i think heavy slime was like the first introduction and it's eric kenny is the artist he's fantastic um the just the style it, it catches your eye immediately and it makes you like drawn in and it makes you like want to just get more 
and, and learn more. And I, I just don't, genuinely don't even know how to describe it. It's that cool. Um, you know, he's been posting photos on his Instagram recently with, uh, Mark Hoppus in heavy slime next to Taylor Swift. Like, that's just so cool. Um, he just does really awesome work and it's like, it's very, very detailed, but also very simple all at the same time. Um, and it's just, it, it reeks Philly. It, it gives that Philly vibe all the time. Whenever I see heavy slime, you know, it's heavy slime. And I think that is like one of the key, uh, fixtures of an artist is that when you see just one piece of their art, you know, exactly who created that there's no replicating that there's no dupes of that that is that person hands down and just like Dewani, just like olivia heavy slime was like that's the first like philly artist that like i was like holy shit like that's heavy slime like i've seen it on tv seen it everywhere and i'm like holy shit i know who that is and i've never met eric i've never met uh heavy slime in person but he is genuinely like that og for me, at least, being on the internet, uh, Philly artist that really captures uh, the Philly vibe of so many things. And I, I think he is wildly talented, wildly successful, deserves even more praise and support than he has. Um, and I think he's just genuinely an awesome dude. And I think Heavy Slime is one of the coolest styles of art that Philadelphia has to offer. So definitely check him out. If you don't know who Heavy Slime is, now you do. Uh, link is in the description for his socials and his storefront as well. And then the final artist that I do want to uh, showcase for everybody is my guy Grim. Grim, Grim, Grim. Let me pull up his... Um, Grimm's artwork is awesome. Um, I think he's wildly talented. It's very, uh, demon time. Um, very gothic, I would say. Um, he's a really awesome dude. Very supportive of us as well. And, um, I, I think Grimm's approach to, Art is unique in the sense that if you see somebody wearing Grimm, it's like, holy shit, what is that? It reminds you of, like, hardcore, like, band tees, and there's so much that he does to capture the essence of just, like, demon time is, is the best way to describe it. it. It goes hard. It's very in-your-face. It's very uh, boisterous and loud and so sick um and i want to pull up like some of the stuff that he has on here like i bought i think i have it right here actually yeah i bought this last year i've seen you've seen me wear it on the pod like <laughs> it's so badass um i also like how his art always has his logo on the front right here. I think that's a really cool touch and it kind of just gives like a poster vibe on a shirt. Um, Grimm's awesome. He does so much great work and, and is always out and about pushing his art, vending it everywhere. Um, deserves so much love, so much praise. He is truly talented and to see, you know, him get covered everywhere. He just posted an article the other day um, with the tattooed mom and he did a shirt for them and it was in the article. Um, so that's really, really sick. Tattooed mom's also a place that I would love to do a live show at. Tattooed mom hit us up. Let's work together. I love their, their vibe. Um, but yeah, there's so many talented artists in Philly. Grimm is, is, so unique and so 
similar yet very different from the other three artists I mentioned. Um, but it shows just the range of Philadelphia artists and Philadelphia fandom and the way that it can be approached, the way that people can, you know, capture the essence of Philadelphia sports and Philadelphia fandom. All four of those artists that I mentioned, Dewani, Olivia, uh, Eric, a.k.a. Heavy Slime, and Grimm, they're, they're just wildly talented and know how to capture things in their own art style. Um, so check out all of them in the description. They are some of the coolest people uh, in the art industry in Philadelphia. And if there's any artists that you want me to highlight and showcase in the Philadelphia area on a future episode, 100% down to do it. Leave a, a comment in the YouTube comment section or in the Apple podcast reviews. And I will definitely take a look at them. Would love to have any of them on uh, on the show to just talk art, Philly sports, all that good stuff. Um, but I genuinely like love seeing the attention to detail put into artwork. I am such a huge fan of art um, because art is it's in the eye of the beholder and art can be amazing to one person when it's complete opposite to somebody else. And it's just the way that you pay attention to it and, and it captures you. Um, and those four in particular are four artists that they capture me damn near every single time they put something out. I'm just like, Holy shit. Like totally enthralled, totally just like mind boggled at how talented they are. Um, so we'll, we'll do more artist spotlights on this show um, for sure. Leave a YouTube comment. Uh, if I miss somebody that you're a fan of, would love to check them out um, and showcase them on the show as well. Make sure you guys are following us on the socials at Underground PHI, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at KBIZZL311 and KBIZZLE11 on Twitter. Uh, Instagram and threads KB underground on YouTube and TikTok. subscribe to the pod subscribe please subscribe subscribe uh, Apple Spotify and pardon me subscribe to the underground sports Philadelphia YouTube channel youtube.com slash at underground sports Philadelphia smash the like button ring the bell icon leave a comment with your favorite Philly artist in the YouTube comment section and of course guys this show is presented by the city of Vineland, and whether you're a company looking to expand, relocate, or you're a new business startup, selecting the right location is critical to your success. Vineland, New Jersey offers both an affordable business location and an excellent quality of life. The city's economic development department is a one-stop source for moving your project through the development and approval process, and their goal is to make this process as smooth as possible and to provide the fastest turnaround times in the region. If you're considering potential locations for your operation, contact the Vineland Economic Development Team at 856-794-4100. That's 856-794-4100. Vineland, New Jersey, where it's always growing season. And big thank you to Security 21 Security Systems and Paul J. Gillespie Incorporated for their continued support of this podcast. This has been episode number 663, an artist spotlight edition of Underground Sports Philadelphia, presented by the City of Vineland. I'm your boy, KB. Appreciate your patience. We'll be back on the next one. Who knows what we're talking about, but we'll find out when we do. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm signing off. Peace. Peace.